spiritual owner here. I, try, I literally tried to make this video about 10 times. And I don't even care if people don't even fucking believe me, but I was beating around the bush. I couldn't get out what I wanted to say because every time I fucking try to make this video, a motherfucker with a red shirt or something will pull up and start talking to me. It's like fucking 11, 30, almost 12 o'clock at night downtown, bro. And people just keep pulling up. And this same dude with the red shirt just at the corner, still staring at me right now. Y'all probably can't see, but this motherfucker has been staring me down. What? In this video, it was literally about satanic ass motherfuckers. These Illuminati people, they're not just in um, celebrity shit. You know, your family might have a bunch of Satanists and you don't even know it. And this video is me finally understanding that they're in my family. I'm tired of fucking... I had to deactivate my Facebook again because I'm tired of the whole thing. I, I somewhat knew this, but I didn't want to really... I didn't want to just jump the gun, but the pictures... And I've been seeing other family members or family members who I ain't seen in years since I was a kid looking at their pictures and this is all i see in all my family pictures them throwing up shit like this or this or this um or oh yeah the i get that shit a lot and i'm tired of looking on my facebook and I, some of them some family members i don't even have friends of like i just be searching through family members i do have and i start searching through their shit and realizing that oh yeah i got a lot of satanic family members and long story short during my family i'm not going to put nobody on blast or nothing that's not that's not what i'm about because at the end of the day 89 percent of people won't even believe me because that's that's one of their main goals is that have victims targeted by these guys have them feel like they crazy and no matter what people want to say about me, crazy or not, I have my problems. I know I do. But when it comes to certain shit, I know I'm on top of my A-game. So, saying that, a lot of certain things that hit me out of nowhere. I haven't had a dream about it. It just hit me to really solidify what the fuck has been happening to me. Down to the whole me calling my brother and then him basically telling him I'm moving back I'm moving from Arkansas to Pittsburgh and I'll never forget this motherfucker was literally like oh damn now the curse can finally be broken and just hearing that shit bro when all this shit went down that shit popped right back in my head and this, and this shit I mean fuck man it is what it is man my mom I, I came down here after 15 or up here after 15 years try my damnness to fucking get in contact with my mom but these motherfuckers did not it's like they did not want me to see my mom like because I, I didn't have a car moving up here or nothing i tried so much to try to get her to see but they didn't want me to see her so i'm guessing before i even say that and she ended up dying and of course she was murdered by three people three fucking people imagine that and mind you brother my brother was doing bad my sister was doing bad other family members were doing bad uh, probably shouldn't have said that but it is what it is ain't no one gonna find out who they are well after my mom's death literally sorry for eating and talking that's disgusting I'm sorry but after my mom's death brother started riding around Mustang sister got a nice car uh, well I, I don't I didn't see her car but I know she got a whole new house but meanwhile my own brother be lying to me talking about she's still in the hood and shit but I got I got even though I may not look it but I got people who be working for me you know righteous people not evil people I, I I told myself I'll never be, I had my problems. I had, I did my fucked up shit and I regret it and I'm sorry, but I got righteous people on my side. I may not look at, and you know, a lot of people looking at me, they think, you know, oh, he's quiet, he, he's a nobody, he got this, he got that. I know there's all different types of shit, but I had people that be doing stop by business for me, I guess you can say. You know, righteous people, not evil people, righteous people, but 
I don't even, I don't even fucking, I don't even know where to start. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so bad because every day I've just been feeling better and better. But at the same time, I've been suffering from all different types of satanic attacks. And even now, and what made me even made this video is because a guy coming up here was the last straw. He literally fucking had a triangle on his shirt and had snakes going through it. And then he lights his cigarette and he just, and, and trust me, I'm used to people walking up here randomly talking to me and cool. But everything about this man screamed, okay, they know where I work. They, they I, I know they're watching me. But he basically walks up, he has that shit on his shirt, and he lights a cigarette. The way he smokes a cigarette, he literally goes like this the whole time. Like, he's smoking it like it's a roach or some shit. Like, and I'm just like, yo, these motherfuckers don't want to give me no breaks. So, also, another thing I've been dealing with, I'm, I'm at the point where I th I'm pretty sure they've been, you know, going to my house now, too. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I found out I didn't have cancer. And to make that make sense, when I first came here, I'm not going to say what family member or whatever, but let's just say that they knew I wasn't really, at the time, I was in a depression state. You know, I pretty much just keep it a buck. I didn't want to fucking live, dude. So seeing that I was that type of person, they figure, oh, this guy's a nobody. Hmm. Let's fucking sacrifice him. And I started noticing that, you know, certain individual was, I was smoking a lot. They were giving me a cigarette. Every time they held, gave me a cigarette, they would hold it upwards. And the fit cigarette would always taste funny. And then, you know, long story short, you know, went into the room, found out they had a uh, rat poison in the room. It was still kind of full, but and the cigarettes always taste funny and so I decided to eat one and I found out that it had the same taste as actual fucking um like like rat poison to be real like and knowing that you know I continue to sit in that situation I was in just waiting because I wanted to get a better job and then I left because I saw the darkness that was in that family member's pacific heart you know and then you know as you know my time in Pittsburgh continued to grow then I really started to notice you know how these people are hive minded and you know a uh, quick um, hint for you if you're in a city and you you see like the same faces every time especially downtown I'm from Atlanta so I always see different faces all the fucking time but if you're in a hive minded city where you where, you, where people, everyone thinks the same and you see the same goddamn faces. I'm not going to say all the time. It's a 50-50 chance. But you're more than likely have a say, you're in a satanic state and they're, they're controlled. Like uh, most of these people in Pittsburgh, they took the vaccine. Everyone I work with, they all took the vaccine. Like these hive-minded fucking bots, bro. And I just can't wait for this war to pop off because it's over for these motherfuckers. Like... It's fucking over, dude. I've been having so many amazing dreams. I've been, like I said, I've been suffering from satanic attacks, but I've been having like good dreams. Like I've been waking up feeling good, cause, and it's just like I don't know, I don't believe in God the way they tell it, but I can tell something divine entered my life and is watching me before I do go, because. Like I said, these certain individuals, they marked my mom for death and they marked me, but the way I live my life, they can't really kill me, but they can, they're trying to, like, I guess you could say poison food. Let me, let me, let me go back to the whole, um, I've been noticing one thing in my apartment. Let me, I, I'm gonna lose y'all for a minute, but just bear with me. Some of the satanic attacks is what you're asking for. When I be in my apartment, Every time, and I'll probably record it just so, you know, proof, whatever. Every time I come in, I might hear TV in someone else's room. Like, I'll hear people. But as soon as I go into my place, it gets dead quiet like a rat. And then the floors creak when you walk. So, I, sometimes I'll be walking I'll be walking back and forth from my apartment. Um, don't ask why. I'm a writer, so I, I like to write and walk. But... 
I'll be walking around in my apartment. And whether they do it because they're tired of me, they're tired of hearing me or whatever it is. But the person literally mimics me. And and I when I mean it's 24-7, like if I just pick days where I'm just, okay, I'm just going to be inside for like five days straight, bro. This person, whoever lives above me, is a straight agent and they get paid to fuck with me. Because this every time I walk in the apartment, it's like they follow me above like wherever i go I, if i go in the bathroom i hear footsteps above me on the other apartment they be going in the fucking bathroom like you know where i'm at you know everywhere i go they be going um what else uh peeking in my apartment you know sometimes i'll notice like half for example headphones i'm i'm real like I'm not materialistic, so I only have few things, so I'll notice if something go missing. And motherfuckers, they finally took my second pair of headphones, but motherfuckers will take shit. And sometimes they'll bring it, but sometimes they won't. And it's kind of annoying, and it's irritating, because now it's going to the point where these motherfuckers is going to, going, breaking in, and then I've before I say this, I have a very strict diet and, you know, I believe in eating a lot of life, especially since the beginning of 2020. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, I try to cut all that meat out. Don't get me wrong, I eat meat every once in a while and when I do, it fucks up my stomach. But now, like, recently, I've been on a plant, like, kind of springs, like, like, I really been doing that shit hard. And one thing I've been noticing is when I made a smoothie, just earlier today and also a week ago i'm i'm finding out that they're coming into my room and doing stuff to like my water or my thing i only drink distilled water and you know i'm real strict with shit and it's been making me throw up so and project out though so it's nothing wrong with that because i eat everything natural bro so they've been coming in my place doing certain shit and um it's just it's, it's fucked up man it's fucked up because on top of the top of all this it's like i'm strong i feel good but i can just know i just know that it's just it's getting worse i don't know if i if i do that like and get a good clear of me because like i said these motherfuckers run this world for now i, I know my spirit and my soul is immortal so if they killed his fucking body, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So get a good look with this. There's a guy who lives across from me. They got him to look like me. And this is another satanic attack, I guess you could say. I bought an outfit from Walmart. I'm not, I don't care about Gucci and all that shit. Fuck that shit. I bought an out, outfit from Walmart. My neighbor, two days later, comes out, has the same exact outfit. So get a good look at me. I don't, now, at this point in my life, I'm happy with myself. I love life. I don't want to die. You know, if I do die, it is what it is. I'm either to another world or I'm coming back for this fucking war because I can't wait for that shit, bro. But if if I somewhat look different, look, uh, you know, you see my weight, you know, I'm not I'm kind of hefty, not too big. But if some guy start posing as me, he look different. My name is Laurel Davon Daniel Dallas. You know, y'all hear how my voice sound and everything. Fucking, but this guy is scared the living shit out of me. I just, and he said my name too. He said my full name, Laurel. And I never told my neighbor my name. So these motherfuckers are getting bold with their fucking attacks. So, and was it? Oh, but yeah, if you see anybody who try to pose as me, you know, y'all know what I look like. If I look any differently, I'm not, I don't plan to lose massive weight. I don't plan to do face reconstruction. Nothing. So if a motherfucker poses to me, just know I'm dead. So I'm just going to say that. If a motherfucker is posing as me, just know I'm dead. And he, if I look funny, look different, because they swap, they don't care. They swap out celebrities, regular civilians. They swap out anybody. They don't care. But if I look different, just know I'm gone. This is, y'all see a good, this is my best version. This is me. So, but enough of that shit. Um, basically, man, I just want y'all to be aware that 
they're not only in rich rich settings you may you may have satanic family members and don't even know it i just want y'all to be ready and the most important thing is to make sure they don't usually attack other family members unless they realize your shit you're doing shit like gee like i was in a bad place bro like and it's like be, getting involved in that incident when i came back home is what really woke me up what really told me that okay this world's fucked up like i don't know i don't deep inside i think i came back home to i guess try to find that family love that i've never had because you know out when i was in arkansas yeah arkansas or georgia you know yeah i met good people but i never had that family kind of thing and you know i i ain't gonna get too much into that but i just i came home because i guess i was looking for that and then my family they're heavy in the media shit so you know i they found out i didn't come back swagged out and you know had a swagger about my voice like when i came back proper and i you know i came back not knowing what i really wanted to do in my life yet you know it is what it is some some people find out sooner you know sooner than others what they want to do you know i just happened to be the ones that just couldn't quite really figure out what this thing was you know because i had i still i didn't love myself at the time and i was still figuring out shit and the way how my attitude i didn't really talk to family members how i should when i was in a presence so me acting that certain way i get they felt wrong about it and i guess that gave them more energy and more just like okay well he's not even really talking to me or nothing you know so fuck it you know i'm just going we're, we're just going to fucking sell him and mom out for money so it's a tough world man because even now with this video i'm gonna upload it i don't care i know people's not gonna believe me i know people's gonna think i'm doing shit for clout or something but i mean it is what it is man but but it's like this shit i just been dealing with let me see nope 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 yeah there he is right there this dude has literally just been over here red hoodie i know y'all saw that he's been literally fucking walking up and down the street but they every time i'm at work bro they always send fucking agents to my job bro like it was it but I, i'll never be reporting it because i i know how it is and i know how the internet is so it's like a lot of shit i just be keeping in my head but something just told I ain't even gonna say it's me. I kind of just feel like it's something good, divine, that's watching me. Told me to tell, just let y'all know this, because there might be some of y'all people who's dealing with certain shit in your life that probably can't feel like nothing's going right for you, and it's like everyone around you thinks that seem like you're the outcast and you're the problem. No, bro, just know those are just satanic entities around you, bro. It is what it is. A real human, a real human, who has empath and all that shit fucking you know there's no such thing as you know acting like everyone else you know they're gonna make sure they see that you down they're gonna make sure you all right you know they gonna make sure you good and then i gonna get in groups and have groups of people talking about you and all that those are just satanic ass people bro motherfuckers don't see the war that's about to happen everyone want to take thing for a game and they pick they side bro and yeah the people who sold out to your boy satan our brother you know yeah and i said our brother satan fucking this is just know this is his world bro and just how we tried to fuck him up the first time when he fuck when you know he did all his shit it's gonna happen again and this time we gonna fucking we gonna take back this fucking planet he's gonna take his people and he's gonna do what he what he was supposed to do the first time go to another world bro have his own world and i just hope it's his own creation because he, he fucked this one up, man. Bad. But I, I'm, get, I'm getting off topic, man. I just know this war, when it pop off, whether I'm still here or in spiritual form, I know I'm one of the ones that wanted to come here to fight. Because even, even as a kid, before I even woke up, I just always... I knew this whole fucking place was just trash. Like, no disrespect. It's a beautiful planet, but how it's ran is fucking trash, dude. Like, and I know the motherfuckers who's on top is fucking trash. They're fucking the asshole, murderous assholes. And for all my people who pick Satan's side, you know, it's over for you. You know, you might.
you might get to enjoy your materialistic life, but I'm telling you now, that shit don't mean nothing. I don't care about cars and I don't care about nothing in this world because I know I'm from the fucking cosmos, bro. And, I, and if I do die and if the war is a little, little later, of course, of course, red, that's like the third red car, fourth red car, and uh, tired of this shit. But anyway, when this war fucking pop off, bro, I know I'm fighting and I'm not, I know it was, and I, I know, <laughs> hold on. It's just, my bad. It's just so much shit in my head right now, bro. But the message that I needed to get out was these these Satanist motherfuckers are are worldwide, and they're of course red bike, blue. I'm so dumb. But anyway, um, these Satanist motherfuckers, dude. They're they're not just big and fucking with people who's rich they also and lower you know look at your family members who fucking don't do shit but somehow got big ass houses out of nowhere and shit like that and don't get me wrong i believe in motherfuckers hard work and i respect people who go out there and get it but there's a lot of motherfuckers out here who's living out on life insurance and goddamn sellout money bro there's a lot of these motherfuckers out here and don't be fooled bro like motherfuckers got such a problem with me is because i wear my pain and i just wear my true self like on my face bro and it's just when you encounter fake people bro they can't stand it they can't stand your fucking presence bro and it's like because i don't have behind a mask when you look at me you're seeing my pain my happiness all in one i'm not high behind no mask i'm not nah none of that shit but Sorry this video kind of jump around everywhere. I know I was trying my best to stay on topic, but I don't know. I'm good. Uh, I'm I'm happy. I'm straight. You know, I wish my living situation was a little bit better. You know, my place isn't exactly where how I wanted to be, but I know I'll get better. I know I'll get better, but I'm just tired of the whole satanic attacks and i i will disappear trust me i will disappear but i will come back and i will look the same but if i look different after disappearing just know that's not me y'all see how i am y'all hear my voice and everything i'm one of a kind that's what these motherfuckers do that's why i hate sellouts bro because when you sell out bro even for the people they did if they become something bad i hope they understand that that's a character now you're a fucking character so if you don't continue doing those fucking rituals those sacrificing those killings when you finally just had enough and your mind break that's when they gonna come for you your own people you sold out to they gonna come for you and they gonna replace you so i it's like they they, they tell you in all these movies and shit how these these elite leaders be killing off they henchmen it's like bro y'all so stupid y'all picked the wrong side and i'm sorry for you like i know y'all probably don't see it but i don't I, I didn't i cry way too much bro i can't cry anymore bro that's just dead wet but <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers bro search their family members i got man i feel sorry for y'all because i see it was happening these dreams i've been having has been getting way vivid like I've been I've been learning how to control like my brain and shit. I've been noticing how to like like wake up. After, I don't need to set an alarm no more. Like I go to sleep. Like I wake up exactly when I have to leave. Like it's just it's like at first use the weird, but now now I understand is me like making like I'm I'm evolving. I don't even know how to explain it, bro. Everything is about evolution, bro. This whole thing is about evolution, but. I don't know, bro. I know this war, this war is finna pop off, but just, just if you're one of those black sheep kind of people, man, just make sure you're grinding and you're doing everything you need to do to stay above. As soon as you you fall in depression and suicidal thoughts and all that, bro, this world's an evil place. It's not like people are gonna actually try to fucking help you. You may be a, someone may someone fucked up may see your struggles and try to use that as an opportunity to be like okay we're going to fucking we're going to kill this man off because he's not doing shit anyway and 
You know, I mean, it is what it is, man. I just want y'all to be safe out there. This is, like I said, this is a message from the universe, mother universe. <laughs> but just, just stay vigilant, man. I, I really want y'all to be safe out there. And I don't know how long I got, but I just know I'm finna disappear and I'm leaving fucking Pittsburgh, you know. I've been saving a lot of fucking money. A lot of money. So when y'all do see me again, if I can make it, fucking just know. Uh, I'm going to be like on an island or something. I'm not bullshitting. That's one thing I didn't tell anybody in my life. Because I saw how the world is. I noticed you need money for material. You know, you need money to survive. But I, I always hated money. So, but what I did and said is I saved it. I've been saving money since I was 18. I'm 30 now. So, you know, and seeing how my family is, you know, even if I do die, I'm just going to have a bunch of money sitting somewhere that no one's ever going to find. But, yeah, that's my plan. I'm getting the fuck out of here and I'm living off the grid. And I wanted to take some family members with me, but, you know, they show what side they're on, so it is what it is. You know, but y'all just get ready for what's about to happen because things are about to get a little much worse. Fuck the whole, you know, Satan is bullshit. These motherfuckers, their time is up. You know, you ain't hearing all these spiritual YouTubers saying this shit for a reason. Like, no, they're, they're, it, time is up, man. Y'all take it for what it is. Like I said, I know most probably won't believe, you know, anything I'm saying, but that's how they want it. So it is what it is, you know. But uh, there's also other things that I want to say. I don't know if I want to make a video about it, but also learning information about me. Uh, I don't think I don't have. Let's just say I was born a certain way. And it's been hidden from me this whole fucking time. And I know there's people from Pittsburgh and shit. I don't want, you know, I don't want fucking people looking at me differently. But it's just another one of the things is what solidifies me and that my family is fucking satanic. They're, they're fucked up. But this is Spiritual Owner, and I'm out of here, man. Y'all be safe.